Hey, my name is Ben Johnson, CTO of Obsidian Security. I want to talk to you today about SaaS Security Posture Management, or SSPM. Security teams realize that their business critical applications are now SaaS. And yet, if you ask most teams, how is your posture when it comes to SaaS security, they don't often have a good answer. And so that's where SaaS Security Posture Management, or SSPM, is really coming into play. But let's dive in a little bit more. And so if you think about your SaaS applications, you have the configuration of that application itself. So you need to worry about, is this hardened or is this misconfigured? But it's not just about the configuration. You also have privileges. What can people do? Do my admins have too much privilege? Do I have too many admins? I'll give you the answer. The answer is yes, you have too many admins. And then it's about access. Who can access these applications? Your user population, but we always forget about those pesky contractors that seem to live on way beyond their, their engagement. And it's not just about humans. It's about service accounts. It's about integrations. Lots of things get access to SaaS. And then finally, activity and behavior. What's going on in these applications? And so what we see in configuration, or rather misconfiguration, is that often you don't require all your users to sign in through SSO which means they're not necessarily going to that single choke point that you set up. We also see anonymous Teams users logging in. We see defaults where your files are shared externally with no passwords. So you gotta really think about configurations and rather misconfigurations. And then privilege, you really need to understand and analyze who has what privilege and what does that afford them to do. So you really have to try to get to least privilege or right size your privileged user population. And when we look at access, what we often see is a large number of stale or inactive accounts. These are never deprovisioned, never cleaned up. That's excessive risk that your organization doesn't need. By the way, you might be paying extra too. So you gotta go back and fix your access. And then finally, activity. You need to analyze activity, but you also need activity to help you with these other principles. When you see a misconfiguration, and then you see your activity in your SaaS app, you can see whether or not people are taking advantage of that weakness. If no one's taking advantage, just fix it. If everyone's taking advantage, then you better fix it. That's a lot of risk. So you really need to make sure activity is incorporated. So when you think about your SaaS apps, each one is different, but you need a common approach. And you need to think about configuration, privilege, access, and activity. And you need to do this now. And if you'd like to learn more, please visit obsidiansecurity.com.